next question is relating to, are, are you feeling hopeful that men and women will be on more of equal footing as we uh, enter the next decade of the 21st century? Well, we've got, okay, so 20, 2020, right? That's gonna be a huge year in terms of the presidential election. My concern is that, you know, it's just like what, when, a woman is about to leave a domestic violence situation. I get this from Gloria Steinem, so I do want to attribute it to her, who has been my role model since forever. And thank, <laughs> thank you for her. Um, she has done so much to help me feel that I'm not alone. And uh, I always go to her and her work and her writing and speak to her when I am feeling, you know, what's happening here in the world. And she's so positive, and it's so important to be that way, particularly now. So I look at. Um, so she said, when a woman's about to leave a domestic violence relationship, that's the most dangerous time for her. Because that's when domestic violence is about power and control. So that's when the, the man is going to lose power and control. So that's when he, can be, he often becomes most violent. We are experiencing in this country patriarchy, so terrified of losing power and control. White male patriarchy, right? And I think also why Trump was elected is because we had a black male president for the first time in our country, and he did some very good things for our country. There were, there, the family, there, there was no, <laughs> every, everything was so respectful, right? Um, when he was president, uh, there were no scandals. He did some wonderful things for our country, and I, I, th I think white male males felt they were losing their privilege, right? So I think that's why Trump became president. And if we were to now have a woman president in 2020, there's gonna be attempts clearly at more violence mm -hmm. against women, against people of color, against Muslims, against Jews, against the LGBT community. We're in a very, very dangerous time and that's why I'm writing the book as well we're in a dangerous time and with so many more people the rights to guns um, and nothing has been done in this country with all these children who could you imagine being no, a, it continues can you all imagine the school being shootings. a child and going to elementary school and being trained to have how to protect yourself and others if there's a, a shooting and no. have, have those have those weapons that, been, um, no, because the NRA is lining the pockets of, of Republican politicians. So they're putting profit, money over people and even children. What happened in New Zealand with the massacre? Those, those automatic weapons were made illegal within six days by the female prime minister of that country. Swift, swift In justice. Australia, the same mm. thing was done. Why isn't it being done here? Why is it okay to put the lives of young children at risk so that guns and guns of this type that can massacre dozens in, in, in a few seconds and minutes. Why is, why is freedom for people to own those, ty those types of military style you know, rifles and guns put ahead of the lives of children? It's very, very dangerous. And I think going into 2020, things are going to become more dangerous than they are going to become. Um, Better. So you're not feeling hopeful? I'm hopeful afterward. Okay. But for, the, for 2020, you, yeah. you said the going whole decade? Going into the next, the next the whole, decade. The yeah, decade, hopefully, but 2020 is going to be a very dangerous time.